Hey everyone, this is a demonstration of Python using the um, datetime module. So the datetime module is really simple to use. First of all, get yourself a Python script. Um, now if you don't know how to create a Python script, I will show you in another video. Uh, just uh, leave a comment down below uh, asking for that and I'll be happy to oblige. But assuming that you know how to get a Python script going, which is really quite straightforward, you first of all import date time. I'll see if I can just zoom in here. Yep, import date time. And then first thing you have to do is define your time. So assuming that you want now, like if you're going to use date time to timestamp a file, you want it for whatever time you're doing it at. So I like to just define the variable as now. Now equals datetime dot datetime dot now and then round brackets. Simple as that. Then you can define a string with now and I call it now underscore string equals str for string then round bracket now dot strf time next round bracket and then your variables and then you close the brackets off. So let's just talk a little bit little bit about the variables. So uh, percentage y equals, I'll just actually, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but let's execute this um, this uh, script. So I've called it demo date time and we can see here. So let me just put this to the side here and this to the side here. And so what we can see is that uh, underscore, uh, sorry, exclamation mark capital Y is the year and uh, percentage M is the month in uh, digits and percentage D is the day in digits so you get year, month, day then percentage capital A is the day of the week, then percentage um, H, uh, capital H is the hour, and percentage capital M is the minute, and percentage uh, capital S is the second. Okay. So let's uh, look at that again. So now string equals that. Now, the really nice thing about the now string is that you could actually include um, something else. Like you could say um, now string uh, now string with text could be something like um, today uh, the current details for today are and whatever plus now string and then you would get if we print that out print now string with text sorry fiddlesticks <laughs> now string with text there we go save that execute that and you've got that. So you can take the now string and then just insert it into a bunch of text and you can name files with it and whatnot and I'll just demonstrate that for you as well. So let's go here in my script I uh, name files so let's say something like I make the directories okay so you can make a directory with the timestamp uh, so let's, for example, um, go. Oh, let's import the OS module. And go os.system, and then just touch a file. That is just to create a file. Touch plus, um, or say touch uh, demo file. and then add the now string actually take that off so it 
is attached to it. All right. So then if we open up the terminal, do that. Oh. My mistake. Sorry, guys. I didn't enter the correct variable. Do that again. And if we go uh, demo, we see demo file that. So I'll just uh, remove that. And so that's how you use the date time module to dates, date, stamp, files or folders or whatever it is you want to do. It's really, really handy, thoroughly recommended, and this script will be available in my pastebin, which is Clockwork PC, the Clockwork PC based pastebin. Ah, I'm just getting a little tongue-tied. So putting that in now, and you can see that I will call it uh, demo date time module in Python, syntax highlighting Python, of course. And there you go. And the link will be available down below. Done. OK. So I hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you. And uh, if you have any other questions about this tutorial, or if there's something that you'd like me to demonstrate, then let me know in the comments down below. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Hit me up on Facebook or Google+. Plus. Um, I don't have a blog yet, but I will get onto it pretty soon. But uh, anyway, uh, please click the subscribe button and send me lots of lovely messages. Bye.